Hi everyone, welcome to the next video from our Rita Berman sort of ices page. Um, we have got this um, really pretty looking ice lolly to do today. I'm going to start with the, um, the stick while I'm um, sort of deciding what to do really with it. So I'm going to use this dark brown to start with number 76 because it's quite hard to get the right colour for the lolly stick in my Ergosoft set. So uh, I'm going to put down some of this dark colour, gonna make it a little darker around the edge, lighter towards the middle, just a really gentle light application and then think about whether I want to add another colour. I think it needs a bit of shadow under there. Just put a little bit of a darker part there. Thing is, if I do it too yellowy, it will look like the wafer cones. So we don't want all the waffle cones. We don't want that. I think I might just leave it in this colour, actually. There we go. I don't think that. I think that's okay. It's a bit dark, but you know. Now we've got these strawberries on here and I'm going to colour those first just because I'm really not sure what I'm going to be doing with this. Um, I'm trying to think, would they be a pinky red or an orangey red? I'm going to go pinky red I think. So I'm going to grab the 23. I don't, I'm quite far away for this one, it's quite big. So I'm just going to colour them um, in really. I want them to stand out. And I'm sort of thinking I might do other bits in this colour just to sort of tie in with the strawberries. I know there's dots on here that I have missed and uh, I shall think about those. I think they'd probably be best in black. We'll worry about those later. And I'm keeping it all quite even colouring because I'm thinking this isn't a real strawberry, it's not going to have shading on it, it's going to be a sort of moulded pattern in the ice lolly. It's quite an intricate looking lolly isn't it? I can't really imagine one that looks like this, it's fun. So I'm thinking, let's do some red here, make it darker here, a bit lighter towards the middle, not too much because it isn't spherical like the ice creams but it might be a little bit shiny. Um, if we do the top line every time in the red like that, that will sort of match. You can see I'm just layering it up a bit at each edge. If it doesn't look quite right we can always add more layers towards the centre afterwards but I think it'll work. I've coloured enough of these to know. Okay and then we've got the sort of stalks of the strawberries and I'm going to do them in this green. Um, the number 52 is getting quite short, my 52 isn't it? I have got some spares. Um, my husband bought quite a few open stock Ergosofts and um, see I'm going to do the other line in the green um, yeah he bought quite a lot of open stock Ergosofts because he used to use them he doesn't anymore so he sort of handed them to me so I've got quite a few and there's certain colours he bought lots of I've also stolen a few of my children I say stolen they used to need coloured coloured pencils for um, secondary school um, when they were 11 to 16 for certain classes they would have to use a coloured pencil so they had some sets actually some of them I have to say I did throw away because they tended to put them in a bag with a pencil sharpener which would open and spill its bits all over their things and uh, it, um, the, it would stick to this edge and go all nasty. I'm going to do the other patterny bits with this green and then we'll go in with the background colour of something else. I haven't decided yet so I'm just going to keep it really simple and not, as I said, not worry about the shading on the on the sort of patterny bits. Now I'm not going to do this water droplet here or whatever it is. 
there are quite a few of those over the page, around the page, in the background, of various items, and some of them seem a little bit random, they're not really dripping off. Well, they might be. But um, what I decided to do was to do them all the same colour um, as part of my background design. I have got a few ideas about that, so uh, I will think harder and uh, there'll be something there when, when this video batch is finished. Now I'm going to try to um, glue together all the videos on this page to release to my members. So members, you can join my channel and you pay um, a fiver a month and the perk you get, the main perk, I, for me anyway, is that you get to watch videos early. So what I tend to do is videos where there's a little series, whether it's two, three or, mo or more, whatever, I try and glue them, to stitch them together in my editing software and uh, let the, release it to members early so they can watch them. I'm going to do this lemony colour for the background because I don't really want it to overtake the pattern but we need something so I'm thinking this might just work as a background it will look, make it look like a sort of lemon lime and strawberry um, lolly so yeah so I um, so member, non-members don't miss out they get all the videos you know, split into parts, one each day. But the members just get them all early in one big video and it just means they get a little perk um, if they want to uh, if they want to um, watch it. I notice not all of my members do, but I mean, it takes a lot of time. You might not have time to watch everything. But uh, I shall try and do that with this page. It takes me a long old time when it's a big video my computer sometimes falls over but uh, I've just got a new drive it's the memberships help to pay for things like this so I've cut when when you say videos in high definition which mine are it takes up a lot of space on your um, hard drive so I've just had to buy my third external hard drive since starting to make videos <laughs> it's getting a bit ridiculous really but you know I want to make sure I keep copies of my videos because I know that Olivia Odorant had her YouTube channel stolen by somebody who hacked in and because she couldn't prove to YouTube that the videos were hers, she wasn't allowed it back. Now I, that's why I want to make sure I keep my raw footage and then I will have some evidence that the videos are mine. Um, if that ever happens, I do have a secure password to try and stop that happening. But, you know, these things do happen. So I'm being careful. So hence I have to buy the discs so that I've got um, lots of space to save. Anyway, that is the end of that um, little um, video. Now, the only thing I'm thinking is that we haven't done anything on the yellow to make it look more shaped. Obviously, it's it might not be rounded but it won't be completely flat um, now because the yellow is quite pale I think I'm just going to use the number one to just do a little bit of a darker area on the edge of each bit it's not, I'm not going to take it too far in and we'll see what happens I think that's made a little bit of a difference. I'm peering at my screen to have a look. Um, you may not bother, but I think it's okay. I'm going to uh, I'm going to leave it there though, not do too much. But there we go. As I say, quite a short one again today. But these are meant to be quite small and quick, so that I can get quite a few done for you when I'm sort of busy, and um, you'll still get something to watch and something to colour if you want to follow along. But thank you so much for watching. Um, I do hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Please subscribe to the channel. It, the subscriptions are free and you can click the bell and you can say how much, um, what notifications you want. You can say none and then there's nothing. It does nothing apart from help me 
to uh, um, it helps YouTube if they see your channels popular they show more people which means that more people watch my videos and can help to share in our enjoyment of colouring which is what it's all about at the end of the day so it's nice to just click that subscribe you can have notifications so you get a notification every time I release a video if you want to um, if you want to get that or you can get just a few there's different options to and you decide what's going to suit you the best but for now thank you so much for watching come back tomorrow and we'll be doing the next picture which looks really delicious so i have to make sure i can make it really tasty but uh, thank you for now enjoy your day and happy coloring